Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru and welcome to a long overdue game room tour. Um, and this is going to be more than just a game room tour in a sense because um, my game room that you see in all my videos is actually just the games room. Uh, that's all that's in there is just games. Uh, I don't have room for my TVs or systems or any of that stuff. So I'm going to kind of show you what I've got throughout the house and and uh, just give you a tour of all my stuff. But this is long overdue. I, I told you guys I was going to do this after I did the unboxing, re-unboxing series and kind of was putting it off, putting it off because I'm down a TV and so my setup is not quite the way I wanted it. Um, but I need to get this out of the way and then maybe I'll do an updated version next year uh, once I've got some other things sorted out. So let's have a look at everything that we've got. All right, so starting here, we've got this 55 inch LCD TV. Uh, this is one of my main gaming televisions. Um, as you can see there, I've got the Switch Pro controller there on the stand. And uh, off to the left there is a Raspberry Pi in a case that's not quite set up yet. I need to finish setting that up at some point. Um, but this is one that I got last year through a friend and got a really good deal on it. Underneath, you can see I've got the original Xbox hooked up. I've got my Dreamcast, which is not hooked up currently. Um, needing to get a VGA connector for that because this TV actually does VGA. Also have the PS4 Slim there, the Switch and Dock down below, and the Wii U, uh, of course the Deluxe Edition. <laughs> Next to that, I've got this PC that will be my streaming box and gaming PC. It'll hook up to that TV uh, through v HDMI and hopefully give me that uh, 1080p 60 frames per second experience for most PC games. And then also uh, it'll have enough horsepower with the amount of memory and everything that I've got in there in order to help me start streaming console stuff. Uh, and then also for capturing footage. <clears throat> now normally, I would have had this TV over here where this wire rack is at because that TV stand is actually for another TV that I have that is currently out of commission. So I'm just borrowing that stand for this set while I'm uh, working on getting that fixed. <clears throat> so in the meantime, on the wire rack here you can see I've got the uh, Wii U gamepad charging up top there. In the middle there is the NES of course with a couple of games. Uh, been having some trouble with my NES, so I need to see about uh, digging into that bad boy and figure out what's going on with it. Uh, next to that is the JVC XI, which is um, a Sega Genesis, Sega CD unit all in one. Uh, that I picked up back in 2001, and it's kind of been my main Sega Genesis unit for many, many years. Beneath that is my TurboGrafx-16, and uh, <clears throat> not only do I have an extension cord on the uh, controller there, which is a must. But as you can see, I've got an EverDrive 2, uh, which is fantastic. Also have the Atari Jaguar hooked up. Uh, I haven't played it in a while, but it is there ready to go. I have a Panasonic FZ10 uh, 3DO. I only have a, maybe a half a dozen games for that thing, but uh, interesting console. Um, just some power management there, my uh, network switch for my equipment here since my internet comes in right directly in this room. Uh, I've got an old TV VCR or a VCR DVD player right there and uh, <clears throat> some extra cables there. There's of course my PS3, uh, it's the PS3 Super Slim and there's a little cheapy um, surround sound system that I bought at a uh, garage sale a few years back uh, for I think $25 and so for analog audio needs it suffices and does what I need it to do <clears throat> and here is an incredibly heavy TV uh, this is probably the heaviest TV that I've ever had to lift this is a two-person job minimum uh, it is a 32 inch widescreen CRT, it is a Sony Trinitron uh, with the Wega branding, um, but it is a Trinitron model. 
Uh, it has a really nice picture. I used to have this in the bedroom at my old place and I have the Xbox 360 hooked up to it, which is still the case. Um, and I used to use that to watch Netflix and Hulu, things like that in the evening um, right before bed. And so it was really handy to have that. But this is a great TV. Uh, only some of what's on this cart is hooked up to uh, this TV. And actually, this cart over here, um, the only thing that's hooked up to the first TV is the Wii U, of course, which is down below. And then the Wii U gamepad is up there. Everything else on this cart is hooked up to another TV. The Jaguar is hooked up here. The NES, uh, XI, Turbo Graphics, those are all hooked up over here. And then the PS3 is over here. Um, <clears throat> the 3DO, however, is hooked up to the uh, box that you see underneath the Super NES and N64, which is a multi-port powered video switch box. So on this uh, setup, I've got the Wii and the PS2 Slim hooked up by a component here, uh, Xbox via HDMI, along with uh, that switch box there because this TV only has one HDMI port on it. So it's uh, my Chromecast, my 360, and my PS3 on that little switch box on top of the subwoofer. <clears throat> but the switch box down below there has the 3DO, as I mentioned, via S-Video, and then also via S-Video are the N64, Super NES, Sega Saturn there on the bottom, GameCube, and original PlayStation. Uh, <clears throat> and so all of that translates over to this TV, uh, which is a 32-inch standard CRT, 4x3 aspect ratio. Uh, and this guy sits on this uh, little rolling cart here that I picked up uh, a couple of years ago. And underneath there, you can see my Atari 7800 and my ColecoVision with the uh, game module there so that I could play 2600 games. So I've got two different means to play 2600 games here uh, while my 2600 itself uh, remains boxed up in the basement somewhere for now. <clears throat> so all the S video stuff goes that goes into that box comes over and hooks up to the back side of this TV and I run it through there that runs through the surround sound audio there as does this bad boy and then uh, of course the two systems I have in there hook up via RF to this TV as well so that is the uh, main TV setup in the living room um, got a couple of odds and ends, tons of remotes, Xbox 360, PS4 remote, I've got a random Saturn joystick there. And here in this closet, I've got one of these hanging shoe organizers that I use for control pads. So as you can see, I kind of have things organized. Um, got NES, Super NES, N64, and uh, at one point, oh yeah, I've got a wave bird there that needs to go back in its home right there look at that and then i've got wii and uh wii pro controller stuff there the wii u pro controller and then there's the <clears throat> the charging cable for my switch pro controller that's the one that comes with it i bought a longer uh usb c cable that i like to use with it um got playstation 2 uh and then that's a logitech wireless playstation 2 controller and then i'll wireless Logitech PS3 controller, which is nice. Of course, N64, uh, Sega Genesis 6 button, Sega Saturn uh, Model 2 pad, a couple of Genesis 3 button pads, and then of course the Sega Saturn uh, 3D pad, and then a couple of other random things like uh, Atari paddles, uh, 7800 joystick, uh, 3DO pad, Jaguar pad, uh, Dreamcast controller there, and then the grip uh, for my Switch Joy-Con controllers. 
Moving on into the hallway here, I've got this uh, storage closet here, two levels. So let's open this up and take a look. So I've got a couple of tubs up top there that are all just overflow controllers. I've got this uh, Game Boy Color case here that's currently not being used. Um, the thing at the top there I bought, or I got when I got my ColecoVision, it kind of came uh, in this and had all these games in it. And look at that, there's a Super Mario Odyssey poster that I still need to find a, a frame for. This bag is full of overflow manuals that I need to organize. Uh, down here I've got um, a bo another box full of, uh, this, this box is full of PC games, uh, mostly big box stuff that I don't have a place for yet. Um, of course I've got a couple of 360 pads there, NES joystick, uh, R-Type DX since I was playing that recently for the uh, Shmup Club. A um, couple of Wiimotes, uh, uh, Jack's TV, uh, Atari pad, uh, Ninja Turtles board game, all my loose uh, N64, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, and my Super Game Boy is in there too. Uh, this is a Game Gear case with some games and stuff in it. Um, this cassette holder is perfect for loose Sega Genesis cards. So I have most of my loose Sega Genesis cards in here, except, of course, for my shmups. Those are easily accessible because I want to make sure that whenever we pick a new game for the shmup club, um, I have instant, easy access to those games. And also because I just love shmups in general. And down at the bottom here, I've got several things. Got a PlayStation 1 racing wheel there. Uh, this other racing wheel to the right is pretty cool because it works with both PS2 and Xbox. Uh, it's a little clunky to use in terms of the setup, but it's pretty cool otherwise. Um, now, for those of you wondering why my PC Engine is here, as you can see from earlier in the video with uh, all the shelving set up and everything, I don't really have a good place to put this based on where I would hook it up. And since I'm using the EverDrive with my TurboGrafx-16, I'm getting what I want in terms of the ability to play PC Engine games for now. Once I actually start buying some real Hue cards and start building up a collection of actual physical games for the PC Engine, and once I get a PC Engine CD to put into the interface unit, then I will have to figure that out and have a place for this to be hooked up. For now, um, I've just got it stored here so that I can keep it dust free. Down below, I have a pair of these Interact racing wheels. One of them is a PlayStation wheel, one of them is an N64 wheel. Um, they both work with this set of paddles. Um, when I bought the N64 wheel, for those of you who didn't see it in a long ago previous video, I, <clears throat> I, uh, I bought this N64 racing wheel while on vacation someplace at a Goodwill. It came with the wrong set of pedals. It was a different, uh, same brand, but different line. And so they wouldn't hook up and I couldn't get it to work. Well, when I found a uh, similar PlayStation wheel that had the same exact pinout on the connector for the pedals, I figured that I could probably just use the pedals for the same wheel. Uh, there's a little clone trooper there, of course, with an alarm clock. And then back there, I've got a broken uh, ColecoVision Super Action Controller that needs some love. And then that is a multi-tap for the PlayStation 2, meant for the Slim, because it's got a little deal that it can sit on. And then it'll hold up to four, handle up to four controllers and four memory cards. <clears throat> Moving into the game room itself, we'll go ahead and close the door here so that you can see my other wall of controllers. Uh, so again, I've got NES, SNES, N64, Wavebird, uh, Zapper and Wii Zapper thing, um, Wii U Pro Controller again, Wiimotes, GameCube, PlayStation 1, 2, and uh, 3 with the charging cable there. Uh, of course, Genesis, Saturn, Saturn 3D, Genesis 6 button. That uh, 
that guy right there is a nice Nyko light gun that has connectors for both PlayStation and Saturn, so that's pretty cool. I can finally play Virtua Cop. Um, of course, Xbox, uh, nice translucent blue. There are a couple of ColecoVision controllers. Um, uh, Multi-tap for Genesis and an extension cable for a Dreamcast. The pink DualShock 3 controller that Zagnor took me up with a while back. Um, this is an interesting one. This is a Matricom, as you can see here. It's from a, an Android-based set-top box that I bought a few years ago. Uh, that kicked the bucket sometime last year, probably early last year, I would say. And uh, it's got a little dongle down in there that you can see. Um, it works with Windows and stuff as, as well, but I was trying to use it to play some games on that Android box. Um, unfortunately, by the time I got it set up and working, that was pretty much when the, the uh, deal kicked the bucket. So anyway... Uh, like I said, it works in Windows. I might use it for the Raspberry Pi once I get that all set up. It's not the best controller, but it works okay. And of course, there's a PlayStation gun, my other Super Action controller, and a Dreamcast pad. So that is that. The closet back here is, uh, I don't know if I can get this. No, I guess not. It's all pretty much just overflow. Uh, some tubs with some spare controllers and uh, things like that. This is the newest shelf in the game room here. Uh, this has got my PS3, of course, some boxes up top there, uh, my Switch and PS4 games, my 360 stuff, as you can see, and just a couple odds and ends. Um, I'll give you a little peek behind the curtain here. This is my very ghetto uh, streaming setup that you see me using. So I got my laptop there, my uh, my Blue Yeti mic and pop filter, um, <clears throat> my lousy uh, headset that I use. I need to replace that at some point. And um, my very ghetto lighting system, these cheap clamp lights with uh, paper towel over them to help diffuse the light a little bit. And of course my uh, laptop and Tommy Boy uh, coaster and uh, a couple of tools and some odds and ends here uh, and some games that I have shown off in a previous video. Um, <clears throat> got this uh, TMNT April O'Neil animation cell that Zagnor took me up with and this awesome signed picture of Tron from Bruce ba Boxleitner that a uh, buddy of mine picked up for me at uh, C2E2, the Chicago Comics and Entertainment Expo, uh, here a few years back as a birthday present. I've got some uh, shelving here that I haven't set up yet. This is actually some cool shelving that my dad built a number of years ago. Um, <clears throat> normally meant for plates and saucers, but uh, they're not being used for that right now. So I need to try and figure out how to best make use of that. I've got all my PS2 stuff here on this uh, Kind of junky plastic shelf. Uh, I'm going to be hopefully replacing some of that here in the not too distant future. Um, <clears throat> some additional cool stuff up top here. Game Boy carry case, Jaguar, PS3 box that I got recently. Uh, the stand for the Yeti, which I'm not using. And of course, David St. Hubbins from Spinal Tap. Uh, I've got original PlayStation games in here, Turbo Graphics. Uh, my Saturn import games, Dreamcast, some PC uh, games, DS, 3DS, Super NES, and then uh, the uh, this whole stack here of Xbox demo discs from the X Xbox magazine. Uh, and then just some overflow stuff. Uh, of course, all my SNES shoom ups are on the floor there um, with desk covers and some... PlayStation 2 games I got from a uh, garage sale recently. <clears throat> and uh, let's see over here of course is the big wall that you see. You get a better better look at some of this stuff that you see in the videos. A little up close view there. So here on the far shelf, I've got all my original Xbox stuff. 
And uh, I got a fair amount of original Xbox. And uh, there in the um, in that shelf there, I've got my 1700 loose SMS games, loose Game Gear games, loose Jaguar games, a couple of odds and ends, and a uh, Game Boy Carry case. And then at the bottom is my GameCube stuff. Up here, of course, I've got NES games, two full shelves worth. I've got my Wii U stuff there. And then all my Wii stuff and a whole bunch of strategy guides and uh, gaming related um, uh, books and things and magazines. Not 100% sure why I've got a couple of random PSP games on that shelf. Speaking of PSP, that is what this entire shelf is dedicated to. All PSP, all the way down, except for those random PC games that I need to shelf elsewhere. And except for the Game Gear case there and my uh, drawer full of, or drawers full of Game Boy games, as you can see. <clears throat> got this ghetto little setup here, which has got uh, just a couple random things up here. Um, ColecoVision games in that box, and then all 2600 games down to the bottom. Of course, I got some unorganized stuff there. Sega Genesis box games, obviously. Mm, I would say 90% of those or more have manuals. There's a couple that I'm missing. Uh, I can't think of which ones right off the top of my head. I know Whip Rush, I just got the box for. I need the manual. And there's a couple of others, but uh, I'm working on that. Here we've got uh, quite a few different things. Uh, Sega Master System games. A um, couple of Wii U big boxes, uh, 3DO Way of the Warrior, PlayStation Long Box, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, and my IBM PC Junior stuff. Get this chair out of the way here so I can bring you over to this other shelf here. So I've got my boxed 2600 games, and uh, also here Game Gear. Uh, Super NES, my one box ColecoVision game, Zaxxon, my one TurboGrafx CD game, Valus 2. Uh, this is my Super R-Type and R-Type 3 box I recently got from Castlemania that you may have seen in uh, my most recent um, pickups video. A um, couple more copies of Diablo 3 because why not? Um, box for some accessories I got on the Wii U my box NES stuff and with that of course is my Holy Diver set that uh, I recently got again Castlemania here is <clears throat> my Game Boy Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance box games along with my very first uh, um, Neo Geo Pocket Color game that I have from uh, follow, fellow RF Generation member uh, Tin Star. Oh, I forgot to move my Yeti box out of the way. And so there's some uh, Skylanders figures there and another one there and got a couple scattered around along with a couple of Amiibo and some different things that uh, uh, some accessories that Zagnor took me up with. But uh, there you have it. That is, uh, that is the game room in all of its glory and uh, all of that stuff kind of give you one more quick pass here so you can kind of eyeball everything I got quite a quite a nice setup here oh yeah I forgot to mention my uh, Guitar Hero sets there in the corner I've got the Wii uh, Guitar Hero Aerosmith set and then a PS2 Guitar Hero 3 set with the uh, wireless guitar <clears throat> so this is all the stuff here in the game room and just kind of give you a, another quick look at it really enjoy my uh, my setup here
Okay, so there you have it. That is my game room tour. Like I said, uh, I'm. it's not set up in the living room quite as much as I'd like, but uh, hopefully if I can get that other TV fixed and get a four TV set up like I was hoping for, you'll be able to see more in the future and uh, I'll be able to maybe do another one of these uh, next year, hopefully after I replace some of the shelving in here to look and, and uh, be a little bit more uniform and, and uh, hopefully have a, a better setup overall. So that's all I have for you today. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Game Boy Guru. I'll have a link in the description below to my blog where you can read all my Game Boy game reviews that I also use as scripts for my dramatic reading series. That is GameBoyGuru.blogspot.com. Also make sure you check out Nira and his channel. He has uh, He's done the Super Mario Land overworld music that I use as the intro for all my videos. And he also has a bunch of other great chiptune and game music covers as well, so make sure you go check those out. If you did like this video, consider hitting the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing so that I can provide you with more content so it'll show up in your feed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.